Okay, here we go. This is uh, how you mix VersaCoat 13 101. First thing is I'm gonna be using the R500 low volume, uh, low pressure gun. Uh, I have a regulator on it. I'm gonna be spraying today at 27 PSI. Uh, when you set your gun up, if you're, so this is the gun that I recommend if you're gonna use a conventional method. If you're gonna use a compressor and a spray gun as if you were spraying a car normally, uh, this is what I recommend because you can use a very small compressor with this gun and it actually does really, really, really well. Uh, it's also relatively inexpensive as well. There is a newer version of this gun that I'm trying to get my hands on right now. Um, but for now, this is what I'm going to be using and the secret is keep your gun super clean. When you get your gun, clean it out. I do use this 3M uh, spray gun cleaner. It works really well. Acetone works well too. Um, I've got this little stand here. What I've got is the essentials. I put eight ounces of the VersaCoat 13 in this cup. And so you could run the one-to-one -one mixture ratios right here on the cups if you want. Uh, you can get these cups on Amazon, all of that. Um, I will be carrying a certain amount of things to get you guys rolling. I will have kits and all the things, but for right now, I'm not carrying the cups and that kind of thing. And what we're gonna do is, I've got eight ounces in, it mixes one-to-one -one with acetone. So this is how you'd mix it if you're just gonna straight, straight up spray it right on the car and you're not gonna look at putting any pearls in it, you're gonna spray it just like this. Fill it up to the 16 ounce mark. There we go. 16 ounces of acetone. Right there. Now we're gonna take a clean stir stick. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna blend this all up first. Okay, we're gonna blend it all up. Next thing you want to do, oh, with the spray gun. When you get the gun, there's a filter that will live right, right inside there. You will not use that filter. Uh, that filter will not allow the pearls uh, to flow through and you will get them pooling up at the bottom and it's gonna be a mess. So remove the filter from the gun and do not use one. Do use a moisture filter, but do not use a filter in the gun. So, gun's nice and clean. I've got my 1.3 millimeter tip on there, which is what you wanna spray your pearls and without the pearls with. You will need to go to a bigger tip if you're gonna spray metallics, because metallics vary in size. Pearls are very, very small. All right, so we've got our solution ready to spray right now. So I would put this in the gun and go right and spray if we weren't trying to add the pearls. But since we are, what we're gonna do is I'm going to filter. You always wanna run a filter when you're um, gonna spray anything. You wanna make sure that there's no, nothing in there that should not be in the gun because you want a good quality spray job. You don't wanna junk it all up. All right, so we've got our filtered mix. Good to go. Now, you can absolutely Eyeball it if you want. What I'm gonna do, since I know that it's gonna be roughly a quarter of this, we're gonna put roughly a quarter in there. Okay. 
Then we're going to take our stir stick. We're going to mix it all up and see what she looks like. Mix it up real good. Uh-oh, I think we might have a crack in our cup. What do we do? Crapola. All right, let's transfer it back into here. Totally had a crack in the cup, damn it. Um, I'm just trying to get all the pearl out of this, so I just, spr just put in a, just a little bit of acetone to try to transfer more of the pearl so we don't waste it. It spray this particular one sprays 50 grams per sprayable gallon. All right. I think I'm pretty happy with this, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move on from that portion now and rock and roll with that. Now, if I'm not getting the coverage that I want, I'll add a little bit more the second time around. But this is kind of where we're at with this. So we're pretty much ready to spray. Uh, I want to real quick, going to take this tack rag and go around the vehicle. And then I'll bring you back real quick with, uh, just going to go around with the tack rag and make sure there's no dust. When you get the tack rag, you want to bring it out, open it up just like so. Open your tack rag up. And then kind of just ball it up a little bit. And go around the whole car with the tack rag. And then after that, we're going to put some uh, product in the gun and start spraying. Now uh, we're going to bring you over to the gun. All right. I use the tack cloth on everything and everything is ready to uh, basically spray. So I've got my respirator on, gloves on. Um, I got the product all mixed up in here real good. So we're ready to spray. I've got my uh, compressor set at about 85 PSI. I got the regulator at the gun set to 27 PSI. So I'm actually going to go to the roof first and uh, spray that first. And then I'll get down and spray uh, probably the front end and we'll go from there. So um, all there is to it now is making sure your solution's nice and mixed and then pour it in the top of the gun, put the cap on and you're ready to spray. All right. 16 ounces. Put your cap on. Put your gun up. You got to do a test spray. All right, ready to go. I'm actually going to start on the front.
All right, first coat is on and it's been about 15 minutes. Definitely want to put down a little bit wetter of a coat for the second coat. I was going for some decent coverage, but I wasn't going for max gloss, which is what happens when you go a little bit wetter. And so I got everything covered up. I filled the gun three times and I used eight ounces the first time of VersaCoat 13 and nine ounces the second two times just because of how randomly I had to pour uh, the stuff. So basically, isn't it crazy how you can see the decals I took off because of the swell that happens with adhesive? You can see the the uh, holographic decal. That's pretty awesome. 32 and 32. So basically when you get a quart, you're going to be able to spray two solid coats on pretty much anything. Um, that leaves eight additional ounces, which end, ends up being 16 full ounces that you've got over after you do a full coat. Uh, or two full coats, I should say. So you've got plenty in that quart, um, which is why I'm mainly gonna be selling it in quarts. Uh, we'll also offer a gallon option, but the quarts will give you two solid coats with a little to spare. So that's a pretty solid deal. And as you can see, the color shift works pretty stinking amazing. All right, so now I'm uh, back on top of it. And uh, I'm gonna put another coat on. I got some tiger striping in here. Again, I was just trying to lay down the pearls, not necessarily trying to get even coverage, or no, I shouldn't say that, maximum gloss. So I wanted the, ta the first coat to be kind of a tack coat, if you will. And now I'm gonna go a little bit wetter with it. Um, I'm gonna get everything straightened out and then I'll actually put you back on the tripod right here so that you can see me spray. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get the next um, cup full of product mixed up and then I'll turn the camera on just like so, so you can see me spray it. So hang tight.